front grab technique, starting with the back of the neck grab. Right? Send it off the punch. One, two, knife arm, down. Open angle. Yep. You notice I'm not trying to help him with the grab. I'm not trying to assist him, and he doesn't want to assist you. He's grabbing like you're going to grab him. Send it off the punch. Punch out to the side, knock your head over, up and under, grab, pressure point, and down. You see if you can do a zoom up. Sir. This round. On the back of the hand here, where the index finger runs down, on the web of the thumb, there's a hollow point. That is a pressure point, and the bone, index bone that runs down up to the wrist. That is another pressure point. You can tell me if this hurts or not. He's tapping out. You're using this thumb against this pressure point. And you want to control it. I've already controlled it before I do the technique. And he's already in, he's going to comply. If he doesn't, you take him down. Back of the neck, do an elbow press. Step it slightly, clasp fingers, do that. And other side. Back up neck. Clasp, step in, clasp the hands, take it down. Chest grabs. Chest grab, front chest grab. Wrist joint lock. Grab, grab. Take the elbow down. Lock. Do the side. Lock it. Take it straight down. Twist the hand. Compliance. And again, this pressure point is hitting his wrist. It's just not a matter of me holding his hand in any fashion because he was not going to feel any pain with this. But you're going to put the thumb on that pressure point right here and it's already hurting. This will only hurt it more. He will not get up from this point. Or I'll take his arm off before he comes back up. attackers and in an outside environment, the last thing you want to do is do a 10 second follow up with fancy footwork and traps and grappling and whatever else you want to throw in there. Looks nice, but you're, let me show me. Sir. I'm going to demonstrate this time. We have multiple attackers. Okay, so he's going to grab chest like I just did. And I might do this. And I might try to do this. Get him back up. And while I'm doing that, what's he going to do? Okay. It doesn't work very well. All I'm trying to do 
this. He's already on me. Okay? Do one more time. As I'm doing this, this part, I'm done. Yeah. I've thrown it in front of him as an obstacle. I'm ready for him to come to me now. But if I do it the other way, this, all right, I'm going to go to this block. I'm going to come around and set him up for a nice attack and trap him. What's the point of that? Well, I'm doing this. I just got kicked in the head. Kicked in the head. Finish your technique. Set up for the next one. Next one. Just grab. Is there an angle? Grab. Wrist. Joint lock. Your elbows are going to be in a perfect plane. Side of body grab. Trap the arm with the right arm. Lower forearm. Hand open to the side tight. Left hand. Side kick. Just another angle. Step in a little bit with the right foot. Trap the hand. Type extending his arm. Left hand to the side of the belt. Kick. Then grab to the side of the body. Right forearm joint to the inner forearm. Pressure point. That takes him down immediately. Left, it's a right inner knife hand strike to the neck. In front of the neck. Step in, push it down, clasp the hands, and guillotine lock. Top the belt. Knife arm. Step out with the left foot. Come around, clap with the right hand. Trap the arm. Push it down. Then a knuckle punch and back fist. So side to Set a knuckle. Down, pressure point. Okay. Down, grab, back fist. Bottom of the belt. Just a little bit. Just a you grab the bottom of the belt. Step in with the left foot. Grab the wrist. Grab the collar. Hyper extend the arm already. He's already in, in pain. Now I'm going to throw him. Back to this side. One, one, two. Hey there! Wrist throwing. Grab the wrist. Grab the wrist. Grab the wrist. Step back. 